Hello guys, this is another episode of um, Economic Classes with, with Manny and um, we're having a, a, I think a great day, if you can uh, look outside, it looks pretty badass. Um, I will be talking about the disadvantages and the advantages of having a business. I will also incorporate some of the responsibilities as well, uh, management. So. One of the advantages are that owner gets all the profits, you know, some of the organizations, if you have your own business, you'll absolutely get all the profit. Um, you get to make the business decisions. You have to make your own choices. You're not gonna have to wait till somebody, get, you know, approval of somebody else. Um, you know, whenever it, whenever it comes to profit, the most profitable and there's tax advantages as well. Some of the disadvantages though, is that the owner is responsible for all the costs and all the you know, um, you know the, the payment of the employees. Um, unlimited liability is um, the business does not do well with the owner. Um, it's still responsible for any debt amassed by the business. Um, even if there's no profit, also if somebody sues the business and the owner, you could lose their own personal property. So if somebody sues you, you know there's actually that possibility that somebody might you know, sue you and for a large amount of money. Um, so prop, so proprietor, prop, proprietor, something, shit, okay. Um, legal entity, owner and business are one of the, and the same, basically. Uh, some of the responsibilities is, your business company initials crucial responsibility towards, you know, shareholders or owners, customers, you don't have to worry about the customers, the employees, government and society and environment some of the business rights as a business owner you have the right of the decision making for each aspect related to your business process you have the right to run a business in any manner um, you have to follow any strategy until unless you, you are not violating any state law or federal law um, unless you sell drugs um, there is there's no limit of capital or effort invested to ensure success and decrease business productivity. And you're free to frame any new effective businesses, strategies, and new customers and increase revenue in the competition business area. Your business also has to, the, has a right to refuse supply of goods, services, and on the various circumstances. You have the right that you, you could just tell somebody, oh, you know, I don't wanna buy your product, I wanna buy it for somebody else's. Way more efficient and it's cheaper as well. Um, you have to make decision making, once that's one of the rights. Uh, right to refuse service, no limit of capital investment, and making changes in business and or, or strategies. You you could also you could also change your your, your strategies. Um, another thing is raising capital. You know companies can borrow from banks, and that will actually make a more attractive position. The interest of rate of companies pay bond for investors is often less than the interest that rate that they will be required to pay to obtain a bank loan. Since the money paid out there um, in interest detracts from corporate prof profits, the company or business to generate profits, minimizing the interest amount that must be paid to borrow money is an important consideration. Also, issuing bonds also give your company significantly greater freedom to operate as if they fit because of the release them from the restriction that they often attach uh, to bank loans. When a company decides to raise, it can borrow money or sell stock, but there's also no repayment. And you actually could stop you from you know, cash flow. Uh, one of the examples could probably be uh, McDonald's. McDonald's one of the best examples. You know, They started off in California, I think. Um, and it's all about propaganda. It's all about franchises. So the, the owners, they were scared of actually spreading McDonald's because they only wanted one, one McDonald's. There was this one guy. He went. He liked their idea. He decided, you know what? McDonald's needs to be somewhere else. Um, so they went to the east side of the United States and they started to invest in franchise. Mass, you know, they had Illinois. They had in um, Missouri. They had in, uh, what was that? Any southern states. And they mass produced and that's what made him more but a couple of years ago there was a suing to a lady that had third degree burns since coffee spilled on her legs and you know caused damage so you know it took a lot of money out of them a lot of suing 
And that's part of the business business responsibilities that you could, you know, probably worry about. 